Good evening. Welcome back and welcome back into my home. Today was a very eventful day in weather. The cold front was about four hours behind the data that we were projecting over the last 24 hours, but it came rolling in with a fierce bite. In fact, so much cold air mixed down to the surface so quickly, it didn't fall as showers, it fell as bursts of snow. And if you've looked out your window in the last half an hour, the skies have already begun to clear. It was right on the leading edge of the cold front. Let's take a look at the radar. I'm going to put it into motion for you. We've got the initial wave, meaning the cold front's leading edge now approaching you guys just south of Montrose. It's headed into the San Juans. On the backside, energy is being formed and it's drifting from southwest to northeast in the extremely cold air environment. That will continue between now and midnight. The only watcher warning is the winter weather advisory up towards the edges of Meeker, stretching north past the border. We expect another round of light snow to continue. That matches what we've seen on radar. Live look outside. We're already partly cloudy. We're down at 38. Winds east now at 6. Humidity 79. Dew point 30. Pressure 29.94, but I have seen indications of it rising in the last half an hour. 35 in Montrose, you have some snow near your sensor pack. Winds north northwest at 7. That's the back edge of the cold front. Humidity 85. Dew point 31 there. Pressure is 29.98. Let me walk you through the overnight hours. We're going to see about a 40% chance of a few more bursts here in town and across western Colorado. That will drop to 20% after about 10 p.m. and down to zero after midnight. But it will be a bone chilly night. Without clouds and the cold front in place, we will drop down to 22. That is why, despite yesterday's unbelievable temps in the low 70s, it is still not time to plant. If you've made the mistake of putting things outside, it will freeze to death in the morning. You need to cover it and do that very quickly. We're at about 21 on air quality for tomorrow. Now let's take a look at your pollen forecast because those levels look to be coming in at a medium on trees. You can see that the grass, weeds, and mold all down to non-existent. In fact, we pulled enough snowy in to keep that fairly mundane. We look at visibilities. Aspen is down to a mile. Two in Rifle, nine here, ten down in Montrose, as well as Moab and Delta. We look at current temps. 26 in Aspen, 42 in Gunnison. That's because the cold front has reached Aspen. It has not reached Gunnison. We're at 38 here. I had to check twice, Delta. That sensor pack may be down because there's really no way we're at 38, Montrose at 35. But Delta at 52. The cold front has reached Montrose. We are now 34 degrees colder right now than we were this time yesterday. 30 cooler in Montrose, 20 cooler in Moab. So this has been an extremely strong cold front. Winds out there shifting east for us, meaning the cold front and its initial air already starting to slow down. But if you look at Delta and Montrose, 23 and 7, that gives you an idea of where this cold front is at. Gusts have been anywhere from 30 to 40. Delta's had one of 34 in the last hour alone. Now, wind is 33 here, 29 in Montrose, 18 in Aspen. It feels much colder. Dew points in the 20s to 30s. Humidities in the same scheme of between 79 for us, 85 in Montrose. Again, Delta, I believe your sensor pack may be down. We're talking to the National Weather Service about that. You can see the wave of energy moving through Colorado. It's going to continue its path to the southeast. That means that so far yesterday we got to 73 and 56, but those are now a distant memory. When we look at the snowpack, we added about six inches over the rock. Rockies, about two into the higher country. Let's pull wide, show you what's going on. You can see from Rapid City to southwestern Colorado, the arc in that snow band is the leading edge of that cold front. So the computer model here trying to hold the cold front back was wrong. We were absolutely right. Now, what happens as we move forward? Clear skies tomorrow. System approaches the west coast and comes on shore for Saturday, but we will get the warm air from it. It will lift along the U.S. Canadian border, only bringing a small chance at a shower on Sunday. We take a quick check of the HD Futurecast. Clear skies on Friday. Clear skies should continue throughout your Saturdays. You can see a few clouds over Montrose. Once we get to Sunday, we'll turn partly cloudy, but again, I suspect that storm system will lift well away from Colorado up towards the Colorado, the Canadian U.S. border. Snow projections at this point only calling for a few more small amounts. And we do the same thing with the rain projector, not calling for any new additions when it comes to rain. Let's take a quick check at tonight. It will be a bone chilly night, folks, meaning we will get down to 22 degrees. You need to be advised of this because anything like plants that you planted early need to be covered. It will be an exceptionally cold night and it will actually slowly warm up tomorrow back into the 50s. But this has been an exceptionally strong cold front. Now, as you can see from that seven day, we are going to see another round of this energy occur again. Small chance on Sunday, but a better chance now is Wednesday and Thursday with several days of sunshine ahead. We'll take a quick break and take a look at those roads and we'll be back in just a few minutes.